Um, we're so excited that everybody is here this evening um, so that we can chat with you guys. Um, but we want to connect as well um, because we know that many of you guys are also entrepreneurs. Um, and so we want to connect with you. We want to support one another, um, especially during this time. Um, I think it's super, super important because so many people have different talents, different giftings, different things. Um, and so we can always learn um, from one another. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on. Yep. So um, again, let us know where you're from so that we all can connect. Um, and I will go ahead and get started with who I am. So um, if you, if we have not already met, it's a pleasure to meet each and every one of you. My name is Dana. Um, so my tag on IG is oily hair boss um, because, um, so one of my big things of course is hair care. Um, and so I'm very, very um, attuned to, um, hey Lydia, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Can't make you co-host. Um, so, so yes. Yeah, so, I'm very attuned to um, what we put in our hair, what we put on our hair. So, that is one of my um, things. Uh, so, as mentioned, um, you guys are here today because um, we want to share um, not only our stories and experiences, um, but we want to uh, help you guys see how this might also be um, a blessing to you. Um, your homes, your families, as well as even maybe your practice. Um, because again, we know that many of you guys have um, maybe different talents, gifting practices, businesses that you also do. Um, but what I found uh, so amazing about Young Living is that it all intertwines. So who is Young Living? So Young Living um, really is a company that's been around for 26 years as an established company, but their research goes back even further than that. Um, it really is a story about healing. Um, something that is super important to Young Living and super important to me is local sourcing, um, sustainability, um, and the quality of products. Um, so what you'll notice about Young Living is um, no matter where their farms are, and the beautiful thing is they're international, that's why we're doing this class, um, because they have farms throughout the world. But no matter where their farm is, their standard is the same. Um, their standard is the same when it comes to quality. Um, and we'll speak a little bit more about that later. Um, so how did I get upon this journey? So for me, um, I kind of grew up with uh, a little bit of both in my life where um, I did have a mom that dabbled into some oils, dabbled into uh, herbs here and there. Um, so at, when I um, got older as an esthetician, I did use some of those things. I did believe in some of those things, um, but I didn't always see consistent results. Um, so as, um, my, as I got older, um, my pregnancy with my daughter was amazing. Everything was great. Um, when I had my son though, I started having complications. I started having other issues. Um, and that is when I realized the same cycle um, that was starting with me as a child, having different sicknesses, having different illnesses, was actually being trickled down to my son. Um, he had really, really bad eczema. Um, he was asthmatic. Um, we would have to give him breathing treatments. I remember listening to his breath as he slept as a baby and questioning. I, I would question the doctors. I would question. I would research, I would look up things, um, we changed our diet, we changed um, even anything in our home that said it was linked to allergies slash asthma, I immediately got rid of it out of our home um, because I was that committed to getting lasting changes in our family. But I didn't see the biggest change until I started um, fully incorporating Young Living Essential Oils in the rest of their products. That's when my eyes were open. That's when I realized, wow, there's something to um, these little plant juices and not all oils are created equal. Um, if you don't remember anything else, I do want you guys to keep that in mind. So some of the things that you're gonna hear tonight, um, understand we are specifically talking about Young Living oils, Young Living 
about products. Um, so with that, I want to go ahead and turn it over to, I believe it's Lydia E. Um, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and her story um, as the three of us speak to you tonight. Hi there, everyone. Hope you are well. As Dana said, my name is Lydia Epic. And with my family in terms of getting started with Young Living, it was uh, and a continuation of our already existing wellness journey. And it was in a way that we had not expected. So a little bit of background on me. So I grew up in South Florida, went to school in Atlanta. And during my time in Atlanta was really challenged about how I was approaching my health from a nutrition standpoint. So graduated from college, realized, you know, I have a completely clean slate. I have my own place. I don't have to take care of anybody else. So how about I start making some changes for myself? So it was starting to read labels with regards to foods and recognizing that there were things in our foods that were not helpful. Um, I made the decision to go to a more vegetarian, plant-based lifestyle then, still to this day in that way. And my husband came alongside that journey with me, where we're very both plant-based, very much label readers, um, you know, realizing the importance of healthy water, uh, breathing clean and fresh air, exercise, those kinds of things. So fast forward to when we were expecting my daughter. Uh, so this is back in 2014. And at the time I was seeing an esthetician in terms of getting some things evened out with my skin. And I told her when we were about eight weeks pregnant that we were expecting. And I figured it would be, you know, this, yay, that's amazing, wonderful, right? Instead, I got a little bit of a different answer, one that I did not expect. And from that moment, shifted the trajectory of how we approached wellness. So she said, that's so wonderful. And I'm so glad you told me because remember last week when you were here and there was a whole collection of items that I had you to purchase to work on your face? Well, one of them you will not be able to use because studies have shown that uh, the active ingredients or the active ingredients in that uh, cream is actually shown to be harmful for a baby. So which I went, okay. First, not what I expected with regards to, I'm pregnant, cool, stop taking this, right? And two, it really floored me. And I never thought of it before. The fact that something I put on my face would somehow affect what was happening in my womb. Told, what is going on? And so it was from that starting place, we began to recognize that it's not just about what you eat. It's not just about the water that you're drinking. Those are all very important. But recognizing that what you're even putting on your skin, what you're breathing in, what you're exposing your body to matters. And so when we came up to that point of, okay, we were already saying that we wanted to create as much of a clean slate as possible for our daughter and for our children to be as chemical free as possible. This now lifted the bar in terms of what we now expected and what we were looking for, for our family's health. And so when Young Living came into the picture with regards to, yes, the oils are awesome and incredible and we use them daily, but it was realizing that this is a lifestyle change. This is not just simply, okay, I'm going to diffuse something that smells really amazing, and you will, because they do, but it's recognizing what are the other areas in my world that I can change to be toxin-free. So I absolutely love to help people to make that connection of you're reading labels on your foods. Now let's start reading the labels of what's in your cabinets what you're using to clean your home, what you're using to put on your skin, what you're putting on your children, and using that as a way to help them to activate and make the most of their young living experience. So if you are already a member, so very thankful that you're here. And I hope that this is a way for you to just be um, encouraged all the more with continuing on this wellness journey, knowing that you have an incredible um, arsenal of tools within Young Living. Um, and if you're not yet a member, this is a place to be able to start and to really think deeply 
and again, in ways that you may have never thought before of how what you put into your environment makes a world of difference on your health and on your well-being. So with that, we'll turn it on over to Lydia Riley. Hey, thank you so much, Lydia. Um, and I'm sorry I'm late, guys. My home's getting torn apart. My floors are not existent right now, so I had to desperately find a spot in order to take this call. And um, so, um, but my name is Lydia Ojuka Riley. I am a wife, a mom. I am a real estate agent, investor. I'm an influencer and also a blogger. So I um, I keep myself pretty busy. And I always love sharing my Young Living story. I love, love, love sharing my Young Living story because it is um, pretty unique in terms of Young Living stories. Um, my Young Living story really starts because uh, it started when uh, my husband took a job with Young Living Corporate. He is the former global chief sales officer of Young Living. And as a global chief sales officer for this $2 billion company um, that is global, that has huge, robust markets all over the world, um, you can imagine that, that it might include a, a whole lot of travel. And it certainly did. There's about 60, 70% travel. My husband was constantly on a plane, on the road. Um, but one thing that Young Living did in order to make this a lot easier for um, our family was to um, allow so that there are family travel benefits as well. And the whole executive team um, gets that. And we were kind of in a position at this time where we were looking to um, start a family at some point. Um, I, I had just barely got my real estate license and was kind of transitioning out of full-time corporate. And so for us, it was a really, really awesome and unique opportunity to say, okay, well, since we have that travel benefit, I'm gonna, we're going to do what everybody would love to do or would dream of doing, which is take full advantage, get on a, a dang plane and go see the world. And so that is what I did. I had the opportunity to go to um, conferences, conventions, rallies, and my favorite incentive trips. And some of the places that I went, I went to Honduras and Belize for a cruise. I went to Australia. Um, the, Gold the Gold Coast, Sydney, and um, Darwin. Uh, Young Living has a farm in Darwin. Um, I went to London. I went to Prague. I went all over France. Nice, Marseille, Provence. Young Living owns a castle in Provence that I got to hang out in. Um, and also, uh, when I went to France, it was the Tour de France. So I had the really unique opportunity of watching those bikers go through this epic um, little town in Provence with all the Young Living people. Um, I went to Banff, Canada for the diamond trip. It was really, really awesome. And I talk about this in a way that makes you possibly go, you, I hate you. What, <laughs> what kind of, ex you know, person brags about this kind of experience? But I, I really honestly do not share it at all to be like bragging. In fact, I share this opportunity in order to share to other people about what Young Living can provide. Remember at this time, I was not building a Young Living business. I was simply a guest of corporate. Um, but I learned really some pretty important and major things about the Young Living experience that I have on my heart and I know that I have to share and I know that lots of people need to know about it. And the first thing is that this is a company that really rewards you with an opportunity to see the world. I, I hadn't, I didn't even have a passport at this time. And I traveled around the world to all of these incentive trips. Right now I'm running towards an incentive. We all are running towards an incentive trip to go to Bora Bora next um, spring. I always forget when it is, January, February. Um, but these, these opportunities are um, pretty regular. There are awesome incentives that the company puts out there so that we can be rewarded for running a business that we love. And if traveling and seeing the world is something that you love, then this is a real opportunity that you need to look at. Um, the second thing that I really learned from this experience was that I got kind of hands-on seed to seal um, exposure. Now seed to seal, uh, we've talked a little bit about it already, but seed to seal is Young Living's quality commitment. It's a series of standards that they take in order to really make sure that they get the best output um, in the products that they provide. Uh, just a couple of those little kind of crazy extraordinary uh, measures that they take. Um, one of them is that they, you know, in order for 
let's say the strawberries or blueberries, the fruit that you love to eat, to have an organic label on them, they need to be grown on soil that has been pesticide free for five years. Okay, five years. That's to have an organic label on it. Young Living, whenever they have a farm, they look for land that has been pesticide free for 50 years at a minimum. So those, those are the kind of standards. You would see that you get a different end product when you're looking at those kinds of standards. And that's one thing that I got to experience firsthand. I've been to six different farms around the world. Um, each one of them just really left such an impression on my heart. There's almost a sacred, um, a sacredness to the space because they really, really treat the plants um, in a way that, that is important. Um, to the end product. So seed to seal, I'll talk about the second thing. Um, the second thing that they do during harvest um, with these seed to seal standards is that they have um, like a miniature greenhouse on the property where they can um, extract some of the plants and they can go and measure the different chemical constituents that are in them during the time of harvest so that they, the reason they're doing this is so that they only harvest at the peak of those constituents and that changes and you have to know a lot about plants and that's what Gary Young was all about. Um, so you really do get a different end product and while I was seeing this I really you know I started to kind of look at the oils differently. I started to kind of you know because during this time we had a lot of Young Living products coming in our home and I would kind of look at them and I was a little bit skeptical you know as I went to more and more farms I started to realize oh they're really really serious about what's in this little bottle. I started to crack them open more often, carry them around in my purse. I started using them. Next thing you know, I smell like essential oils and there's oils falling out of every pocket, everywhere that I go. I just really, really got hooked on the products and it started with that seed to seal commitment. Um, and the third thing that I really got to see and I got exposure to, you know, I did not grow up wealthy. I'm an immigrant from Uganda. My parents came here for educational purposes. We really were pretty, um, pretty poor for most of my upbringing. And I know that I never really met women who had, you know, made tons and tons of money in anything. It just wasn't my network and I wasn't surrounded by that. All of a sudden through this experience, because again, I would go on these trips, my husband's busy, he's off really actually working and I'm left on my own. And so what I did was kind of open my heart. I had the opportunity to speak to so many of the different members of this business and realized, oh wow, Oh wow, they're not only are they making a living in this business, um, but many of them had reached a level of success that they nowhere near imagined and um, were making, you know, a, my own enroller, for example, she makes more money in one month than I have ever earned in an entire year. And those stories kept on coming up and coming up. I sat, uh, you know, I had many, many dinners, dinner conversations with these women who had reached this level of success. And it's not just the millionaires that made their mark. I really met a lot of people who were reaching the fourth and fifth and sixth um, ranks of Young Living who are making a really, really amazing replaceable full-time income. And whatever that is for you, whether that's a couple thousand dollars, whether that's $5,000, $10,000, it's really up to you when you have this kind of business at your um, unique disposal. You know, and so for me, really, I had a ton of experience with having a holistic home. My mom is a crazy uh, herbalist, natural lady, and she already, I already grew up with those standards, and I already knew, I already know how important it is um, what you put on your skin, what you put in your body. That was already a value that I had, um, as well as knowing that, you know, I was loving the oils and knowing that, okay, I could, I could just share something that I'm loving and make a um, commission from it. That sounds really good. So for me, you know, it was really a no brainer. When my husband left the company, I got my kit and I got going on the business right away and have been chasing it since and really, really loving it. Um, I'm going to go right into the products that I am really, really into, and we'll start talking about those products. And I think, um, Lydia, you'll go after me, correct? Okay, awesome. Um, so my very favorite first product with Young Living, and this is still my ride or die, I still use it every single day. Um, my gateway oil is lavender. 
And I love lavender because I, you know, everybody lo loves lavender. It's really the Swiss army knife of oils, of essential oils. You can use it for so many different things. I love using it because I'm an anxious person. Um, I tend to just, I tend to kind of ride high on the anxiety train. Young Living is such a calming and soothing oil for those type of emotions. Um, it is also antiseptic, um, analgesic, anti-convulsant, anti-depressant, anti-rheumatic, some of these, anti-spasmatic. I mean, Young Living has, or sorry, lavender has a range of, um, of properties that make it really, really wonderful for emotions, for your skin, um, to really help you sleep. You could sleep longer. There's studies that show that you can sleep longer and deeper by diffusing or using lavender right on your skin topically. And I also love it because it's so gentle. Um, this is an oil that you know you can put straight on your skin without having to dilute it at all. And I put it straight on my baby's skin as well. Um, some people would say dilute it, but he seems to be doing just fine when I put it on his skin um, straight up. My second favorite oil of the moment. Okay, these rotate and I have, again, a purse full of a million oils that I use for everything. Okay, but I've been really riding hard for this next oil, which is cedarwood. Cedarwood has the highest amount of a um, a constituent called sesquiterpenes, which is really, really wonderful for affecting your emotions. This is an oil that has been helping me sleep like, like a new woman for the last about six months. And um, that is, as you know, that is invaluable. When your sleep is good, I feel like life is good when my sleep is good. And so I put lavender in with cedarwood and I diffuse the combination of those. It's, um, it's all I need. Cedarwood is a really low cost oil. There's a few other properties of oil. And again, I'm gonna kind of stumble through these. I'm not a science, scientist or anything, but it's antifungal, antiseptic, antispasmatic. Um, it's a great astringent. It's a diuretic. It's um, expectorant. It's an insect repellent. Um, it's a sedative. So it's, it's phenomenal, again, for influencing those emotional centers in your brain and really calming you. That's the top reason why I use cedarwood. Um, the third oil that I'm going to talk about today is thieves. And thieves is a blend by Young Living, and it's often duplicated but never quite replicated perfectly. It has um, lemon, clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, and is that everything? What's the last one that I'm forgetting? Did you say cinnamon? Cinnamon. I always forget at least one. My brain can only carry four at a time. <laughs> and cinnamon as well. So Thieves, it smells like Christmas. And Thieves is really a blend that was created out of a legend from the bubonic plague. Um, there were four um, ro grave robbers who would um, put this blend of spices all over them before they would go and rob the graves or de of the dead or the dying. And they didn't get sick. So legend has it that when they were arrested, they were given a lighter sentence because in exchange um, for this recipe. And so there's so many different versions of that story. But the main thing that we need to take from that, each and every one of those ingredients has phenomenal immune supporting benefits. And in com when they combine all together, you have really got something special. I love thieves for myself put it all over the bottoms of my feet. That's where you have the most blood vessels and can carry it through your whole body. Um, but I use Thieves Spray. There are Thieves, there's Thieves Household Cleaner. Um, there's Thieves Toothpaste. Thieves is in everything because it is such a wonderful blend for your whole body. And again, I use this for my kids all the time, all the time, year round, but especially in the winter. Um, as you know, as we all know, if you're living on the planet Earth right now, our immune systems are incredibly important and something that everybody has top of mind. And so thieves, you know, from a business standpoint, thieves sales are up by a thousand plus percent. Um, and I know that I'm personally responsible for at least a portion of that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that increase. Um, but Young Living, you know, just to talk briefly, it's not just oils. There is an array of products that you can use in your personal care. There's even some food options. There's supplement um, products as well. Like I said, I love the tooth, toothpaste. I use house, household cleaning products. 
Young Living released a CBD um, line just recently that I am obsessed with. There we go. Dana's got some. So I love this CBD specifically. I got um, access to it while they were still kind of testing and finalizing um, the CBD um, specifics. And so I got to use it during the pregnant, my pregnancy with my son. And I have, um, I'm a former college athlete. I have a lot of joint pain, a lot of kind of body systemic inflammation that happens from beating your body up. Uh, for me, it was on the soccer field 24-7 um, when I was a kid. So um, CBD is phenomenal for pain relief. It's phenomenal for um, emotions. It's great for anxiety. It's great for depression. It's very soothing. It's very calming calming as we get more and more research around cbd we realize that this is really something that works so symbiotically with the way that our bodies work in our um, cannabinoid receptors that are throughout our bo our bodies um, i was going to say oh specifically that there is a few different ways to extract cbd there's full spectrum and then there's isolate young living creates an isolate just because there are two main effective components of the cannabis plant, which is the THC component, and then that's the psychoactive, and then there's the, um, there's the non-psychoactive component, which is cannabidiol or CBD. Young Living does a CBD isolate, so there's no THC whatsoever in it, but um, when you take out that, you do take out some of the terpenes, and so Young Living blends our CBD isolate with essential oils that contain terpenes, and you get a really, really beautiful entourage effect that works phenomenally, um, you know, in combination with our bodies. Um, and oh, somebody mentioned the makeup and the skincare; those are other things as well that Young Living provides. Um, but that those are my favorite. I'm going to pass it on to Lydia. You tell us about your favorite products as well. Thanks so much, Riley. Appreciate that. Let me make sure it's gonna, can y'all see me as I'm doing this? Uh, there we go. Let's try it this way. All right, can you see me? Okay, cool. All right, so thank you so much, Riley, for sharing your favorites. Uh, for me personally, it is a combination of favorite oils as well as oil infused items. Um, and you touched on something with regards to the ways that essential oils basically function and connect with our brain. And that's also part of what I've learned on this incredible wellness journey is our bodies are truly fearfully and amazingly made. They're incredible. And we're still just beginning to scratch the surface of how all these different bits and pieces function together and our brain is no exception so with the two oils that i enjoy we use them uh, both from a practical sense of ways to uh, create a more clean environment in our home but then also they have uh, different compounds that are natural to that essential oil that have been shown through research to do incredible things for the brain so real quick lesson on your brain. So you have what's called the limbic system within your brain, and that is the most protected portion of your brain. Some people call it your animal brain or your original brain. It is the emotional center of your brain. Okay, so the best way to find it is if you put one finger here, kind of between the bridge of your nose, Okay, right? and then you take another finger and you put it here, just right in front of your earlobe. You are pointing to that most protected portion of your brain. That is where your limbic system resides. It's right within the center of your brain. Now, in the front, so right here on your forehead, this is where your frontal cortex is. Okay, so frontal cortex, that's where you do your rational thinking. That's where we tend to um, do a lot of our processing is in our frontal cortex. Um, that's the part that we're most aware of. Our emotions, however, depending on you know, how you grew up or what kind of environment you are in, that is a portion of our brain that a lot of us um, are now learning how to reconnect with. We're seeing that especially through um, embracing self-care and journaling and being willing to really take, um, to be present with our emotions. So with the limbic brain, it is um, communicated through by our five senses. So of course it's taste, uh, taste <laughs> smell, sight, uh, touch, and oh goodness, I've forgotten my five. Taste, touch, smell, 
see here. Thank you. There you go. There's my five. Okay. So of those five, the one that goes directly to your emotional brain before it goes to your frontal cortex, to your thinking brain, it is a sense of smell. All the other ones are going to go through your thinking brain first and then may trickle down into your emotional brain. So when you're using aromatherapy, that's what aromatherapy is. It is aroma therapy. It is a therapy through the sense of smell. So for the two oils that I absolutely enjoy, first is going to be peppermint. Okay. Um, peppermint contains a compound known as menthol. So if you know about it from um, a French standpoint, right? The menth, right? So menthol has been shown to help with increased alertness and awareness. Um, great for improving concentration. Um, so for example, whenever I'm wanting to or whenever I'm in a place where I have work to do and I wanna make sure that I'm awake and alive for it, I'm gonna diffuse some peppermint or just put a drop in my hand, um, rub it, breathe it in, or even take a drop and put it on my thumb and press it up to the top of my mouth, hold it there for about 15 seconds, you'll be awake. It's amazing, <laughs> all right? So that is one of the great things you can do with uh, peppermint oil. Um, I also like to use it from a digestive standpoint. So if somebody has a little bit of a rumbly tummy, I'll take peppermint, dilute it well, and I can use that on the stomach as well. Um, for those who are in a place where they can use a vitality oil, meaning you can use the more internally used form of peppermint, you can put a drop in your water. Of course, you want to do that in a non-plastic container. So think ceramic, glass, stainless steel, those are all fine. So just a drop with three or four um, cups of clean water and it does wonderful things for just helping your body to feel more regulated. We absolutely love it. My husband is all about peppermint. So there's that first one. And then the second one is Citrus Fresh. And so Young Living is known for uh, not just seed to seal, which is such an incredible standard um, with regards to how we approach these very, um, dare I say, sacred plants because of the fact that they have inherently within them the ability to help our bodies to heal and restore themselves. That's what our bodies all want to do. We all want to walk in health and restoration. That's what our bodies are designed to do. So with regards to supporting that balance, um, Gary Young created a series of different blends that all uh, help to make that all the more possible. So Citrus Fresh is one of those. It's an incredible blend. It contains a collection of different citrus oils such as orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin orange. Your citrus fruits are um, very high in what's called D-limaline. So if you want to get kind of geeky with it. Um, and so D-limaline has been shown to help with mood. So you can do all sorts of research on how it helps with um, just feeling happy, uh, feeling more just alive and excited about life. Uh, so when you see uh, different, uh, let's see. So, I mean, honestly, any, for most of us, when we think about oranges and we think about lemons, and it's just, they're bright and they're happy and they're awesome. And so you just feel happy all of a sudden, right? And so that's exactly what you have with Citrus Fresh. It is happiness in a bottle. That was so well said. Thank you. So the ways that we go about using Citrus Fresh. So Citrus Fresh naturally in a diffuser makes complete sense. If things feel a little bit kind of, we're gonna throw in some Citrus Fresh to help things feel more happy and alive. Um, I also like to use Citrus Fresh with our clothing when we're washing our clothes. It has an incredible, fun, happy scent. Uh, so remember how I said we were realizing that the things that we were putting on our body and in our home, we were recognizing we need to switch out. So laundry detergent, fabric softener, huge, huge culprits for things that are no bueno and want to get out of our house and do much better. So we use Thieves Laundry Soap and it is highly concentrated, works amazingly well. It'll stretch me, use it for months and I've got two little people, so it's, it's legit. Um, and so we use that as our laundry soap. And then for our fabric softener, instead of doing the blue stuff for the sheets or the rest of it, we use just simply distilled vinegar and two to three drops of Citrus Fresh, and that's it. And so that's the way we go about freshening our clothes. And so you have happiness all over your clothing all throughout the day and all throughout the week. It's amazing, okay? So Citrus Fresh, cannot recommend that one enough. 
Now, in terms of something that's infused with an essential oil, um, as Lydia Riley mentioned earlier, you know, this is oils are just a portion of what it is that Young Living does. And they have so many different products. They have the Thieves line, for example, a whole line of supplements um, that are essential oil infused. And it's incredible stuff. And they all hold to that same seed to steel, seed to seal value set. Um, then there's also Ningxia Red. And Ningxia is incredible. This is a must have. If you have, if you already have your uh, starter kit set, and you've not yet found this in your special little pouch area, make sure you break it out, pop it in your fridge, and enjoy it immediately. Let it chill, it's amazing. Um, if anything else, and actually for my own group, a whole lot of people have gotten started with Ningxia Red. They're just, yeah, the oils are cool, but this is life, okay? So Ningxia Red is an antioxidant essential oil infused drink. Just breaking it down real quick, antioxidant, meaning that it's helping to uh, support uh, and reverse the aging process of fill in the blank, okay? So anything that oxidizes, that's rust, right? It's starting to wear down, it's starting to break down, that's a natural process that happens. When you have an antioxidant, it's going to go in and it's going to help those cells to stay renewed and regenerate um, to their best level, to their optimum level. And so when you drink an antioxidant drink, it's going to do amazing things to your body. And just the, <laughs> the testimonies that are um, far and wide of people who have taken Ningxia Red and have been able to um, do a myriad of things to help their bodies to function at high levels, and in some cases, reverse things that were creating um, dis-ease within their body is phenomenal. So this is a must-have for our home. So this is something I take each and every day. It helps me to stay energized. It helps to support my immune system. Last winter, uh, when typically, you know, I just kind of, you know, just have a few things here and there, not really think much about it, and decided I'm gonna do Ningxia Red every day, and we're gonna see how this goes did not get sick. It was phenomenal. In the past, I've had all sorts of things pop up. So now, excuse me, so now <laughs> this is a must-have. Ningxia, Ningxia, Ningxia for the win. So um, that is what I have to share. And how about for you sharing, Dana? All right. How awesome are these ladies? Um, I am always fired up when I get to um, present with you guys and get to really, really um, hone in on some of these products. Um, so for me, um, my three go-tos, I actually don't have them with me, but I will go ahead and share that with you. Um, Lydia E., you have your aroma ring in. Is that Aroma Ease you have in there? It is. Okay, so my first oil is Aroma Ease. And if you notice, she had the little ring. And so what she was getting is actually an aromatic experience with the beautiful blend of Aroma Ease. I love, love, love Aroma Ease because it is a blend of uh, peppermint, cardamom, um, a lot of those wonderful, powerful oils that too help to support digestion, but they're also very grounding. Um, so I love, love, love that blend. Um, it's actually one for me I'm one that um, no matter how I travel um, I my equilibrium is a little off and so something like aroma ease helps tremendously um, when I visited Utah in in the mountains I was struggling and having thank you Tashina is holding up aroma ease um, I was struggling uh, with motion sickness I was struggling with the elevation um, aroma Ease is an excellent, excellent one to have. I wish I had Aroma Rings at the time to use, um, but you can also put them at the roof of your mouth. Um, that helps tremendously to help balance all of those. So love, love, love Aroma Ease. Um, the second one that really was a game changer in my son's um, experience was um, RC. Um, and RC is also a blend. There's three different types of eucalyptus in RC, as well as myrtle um, and some other amazing, amazing um, respiratory um, oils, okay? So anything that you can think of going on in the respiratory system, 
Um, RC is an excellent, excellent one to have. Um, and depending on where you live depends on um, what you would get. You would either get that or eucalyptus or raven, um, but all are going to really help support that area. Another thing during this time period, we know that there's something going on that is attacking what? Respiratory, right? So it is so powerful to have that. We've been putting it on our chest when we go out and about. We'll put it on our backs. Um, I put it on the bottom of my kids' feet. Um, we diffuse that at night to really, really help build up and support that system. Um, because I, I think everybody here would agree the best defense is a good offense, right? Protect yourself and build yourself up to the best of your ability first and foremost. And then the last one, I do have this on hand just because I do not leave home without it. It is one of my absolute favorites is Valor. So Valor is another amazing, amazing blend. Um, Valor has in it black spruce, camphor, blue tansy, frankincense, and geranium. These, like if you look up these herbs and oils and their benefit, um, please, please look them up. It's, it's amazing their power and strength in nature. And really you're getting that same vibration in your body when you use this beautiful, beautiful blend. So I call it my liquid courage. Um, I dabbed on some before we spoke and started this class. I love it for um, just strengthening those emotions. Um, it's, it's such a great one too, when maybe you're doing some meditation. It's great when you're doing a little focused things where you need your your mind and yourself to be centered. So love, love, love that blend so much. Um, those were my three faves that I just love spotlighting. Um, and I love having um, the, the two of these beautiful ladies to kind of speak life into you. So I hope um, if nothing more, um, you feel that energy, you feel um, that vibe and everything that we're sharing with you. Um, with that, um, Miss Lydia Riley, can you close us out? I sure can. Thank you, Dana. I love hearing um, you speak as well. Um, you guys, we um, just covered this amazing company, the amazing products that we each love so much. And um, the way that I want to kind of close out is by starting on this, why this would be a phenomenal opportunity for you. You know, health and wellness, the industry is a $4.5 trillion market. That's spread across a few different segments, but that is an enormous, enormous industry and it is only growing. So, or sorry, $4.5 trillion market in 2018 and has been growing steadily about 3% every single year since that. Um, Young Living is a huge, huge opportunity because we provide consumable health and wellness products. Now, the reason why you want a consumable product, again, is just because of ordering. It's about having a business that makes sense. And while I love my bottle of oil, I love the fact that it has, you know, my 15 mil has about 250 drops of oil and you really just need a drop. Young Living has the largest collection of essential oils anywhere. I think there's about 200 and something different essential oils in the catalog, ranging from um, hair, skin, immune system, I mean, emotions, everything that we've been discussing that directly affect your health and wellness. <clears throat> I think that's really important as well as to combine that with a conversation about the power of this little tiny thing called the internet that has brought us together today. Um, like, as I mentioned before, my husband is in this industry. He's the CSO now. He left um, Young Living. He's a CSO at a different company, but this direct selling industry is really changing tremendously with the power of um, the internet. And 10 years ago, with a lot of the people that I mentioned that I met who had done incredibly well with Young Living, we're talking blogs, we're talking um, some other, you know, maybe 10 years ago technologies that helped give them the exposure and the reach. Today, we've got social media and again these technologies just keep on and down on this screen and to be with people talking directly to people can you am I still there for you guys okay talking to people who are all over the world right now 
is pretty incredible. That gives us an opportunity to share like we've never ever had before in the history of humanity. So this opportunity is huge. So whether or not you've just listened to this and you've thought, hey, I have never really tried essential oils or I've been using an essential oil that I didn't really care about where it came from, you know, whatever is bringing you to these products, you could absolutely get yourself a starter kit. There's several different starter kits. You can get together with the person that invited you to this call and they'll set you up with this starter kit that is right for you. And guess what? If you're interested in running the business, it's actually no different. You start by getting a starter kit and getting together with the person that invited you to come to this class, and they can tell you all about how to get started with the business. And the great thing is that it doesn't cost anything additional separate from the starter kits. They really are the best way to get started. You get a huge, huge discount when you do buy in that kit. Um, but again, if you get together with the person that invited you to this business, they can talk to you all about the various flexible options that there are. Um, again, we just love, love sharing this product with you guys. We, it's, a, it's a gift really every week to be, or every other week to get together and to discuss products that we love. I hope that you can um, feel that enthusiasm. Thank you for showing up. Thanks for giving us your time and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Carrie did put a question in the chat for you guys. Carrie, did you want to just audibly, because it's like so totally, did you want to ask the question? Oh, I don't even remember what it was. Earlier, someone was talking about mamas and babies, and I just thought, what's your go-to mamas for early pregnancy, morning sickness stuff? Someone said something, and it triggered that question. I think that was the one. I loved peppermint and aroma eased. Oh, those two saved my life. Okay. What about you guys? Yes, I was going to say the same. So both my babies were oily babies and peppermint was the boss sauce. <laughs> boss sauce. Yeah, so Love I would it. say um, start real easy with it, meaning um, just do a drop in the hand or do a drop in the, in the diffuser, meaning one drop in the diffuser, and then be willing to walk up from there um, because one drop goes a long, long way. So those would be both really, really great places to start. Okay, good. And I noticed because you had the, the aroma ring, the nose ring. And they mentioned that when it was released, especially Aroma Ease is good for pregnant women. Yes, Aroma, Aroma Ease is phenomenal okay. for pregnant women. Fun story about Aroma Ease, if memory serves me, Aroma Ease was a blend designed for someone who was pregnant as a way to okay. help with uh, just, yeah, getting through those trying times of the first trimester. <laughs> Perfect. I will tell my friend because it ain't me, it's a friend. <laughs> but yes, I have zero experience in this part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it nausea specifically that she's having problems with or is it like, because my, my pregnancy issues ranged from being sick all the time, but I was also very sore physically, um, my back, my hips. And so for that, I, I really loved um, deep relief was amazing for like shoulders and for back pain. I love Panaway. I still use that. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of options if it's not just the nausea. Oh, I hate the nausea. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she just messaged me late last night and <laughs> I thought I'm going to get on here and ask somebody who knows. And I am, I am literally writing to her right now. So. Very cool. Very cool. Thanks ladies. You're welcome. I always love listening to all of you. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you so much. Always learn something. So we might as well take any other questions. Does anyone else have a question or does anyone want to share a product they're loving or, you know, their favorite product as well? We might as well. We've got a couple more minutes. I can share my experience with the um, Aroma Ease ring. So I was not a fan or excited about that whatsoever. I don't like things on my face, period. The idea, like the first couple of times I tried them, I was like, I just knocked it out like immediately. Like <laughs> just not even, 
However, I have extreme issues and problems with masks. I cannot use them whatsoever. Um, the ones that have chemicals on them, like the N95 and the surgical mask, they activate my eczema. Um, so I have to like rub my entire face with jojoba oil. And then I am in the small percentage of people that it, it activates my asthma. So within 15 minutes of putting any mask, including the cloth one, when I go to the grocery store, I would immediately have a coughing fit because it is changing the air that I'm breathing in. I'm breathing in too much carbon dioxide. And I can tell when I'm having an asthma attack because this has happened my whole life. Like it, I cannot actually use it. However, I have to use it at work. Um, so I'm not going to go in the office where I need to do it for eight hours a day. Like I'm approved from the doctor to not go because I can't use a mask. And, um, but I had to go to a plant last week. So the first day, what I did is I, I put the jojoba oil around for the surgical mask so that I didn't have an eczema reaction. I put Raven on the inside. I spray the outside with thieves and I suck on a thieves cough drop the whole entire time. And that gave me some relief, but I still like, as soon as I got back to the office from walking the plant for two hours, like I felt dizzy because I didn't have enough oxygen. I had to immediately rip the mask off and not have it for the rest of the day. The next day, the next two days, I used the Aroma Ease and I did not get that dizzy, nauseous feeling. So it is so such good proof that having those essential oils and breathing them in was oxygenating my air and allowing me to breathe better because I didn't have the same issues the day that I didn't have it. So now I am a complete believer in that Aroma Ease ring. I second that. Aroma Ease is the boss. It's <laughs> yeah, so even yesterday, for example, I went rock climbing and for the facility that we're at, for where we are, they're asking that we keep masks on while we're climbing. And yeah, it's, it's a little odd. But nevertheless, yeah, having this in and then having the cloth mask over helped so that as I was breathing, I was able to go, okay, I can do this. I can still do this. So that is so incredible to hear. I second your victory. I second your victory. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, again, get with the person that invited you. If you guys can think of any other questions later, um, we will be available. Um, but we appreciate you guys and we want to guard your time. So we are going to go ahead and let everybody go. Um, but again, thank you so much for being here, guys. Have a great evening for the most of you. Have a great one. Thanks Thank again. You. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.